Hi, my name is Brittany Bauman, and I'm coming to you kind of live from sunny Portland, Maine. It's a little chilly here, but it'll do. I'm going to show you how to sign your senior need, seniors need movers, senior living Adobe sign paperwork. So the paperwork is going to come from ecosign at ecosign.com, seniors need movers. Occasionally, this will be found in your spam folder. Um, it's not typical, but it does sometimes go there. So if you have any questions and you do not see it directly in your inbox, please feel free to give me a call or an email. So your paperwork's going to look like this originally in the email. It's gonna say all serve Allen and Cole's moving ABC relocation. This is our parent company here in Portland, Maine. You are signing documentation for seniors need movers. We are part of North American Van Line Senior Living Relocation. In fact, we're the only division for seniors through North American Van Line. So give me a little note down here that says, please read and assign the attached paperwork. If you have any questions, please email your senior move coordinator or advisor. Um, our emails are here and our phone numbers are in the paperwork as well. Um, please don't reply to info at seniorsneedmovers.com. We do utilize this email, just we don't check it as often as our personal accounts. So what we're going to do first is click here to review and sign. So up here, there's going to be the message for from Senior Scene Movers. If you have any questions, you can always click here and read to see what the original message was. My name is Brittany Bauman. You'll see your name right up here at the top. You'll see a start sign as well as next required fields. These are two important things to look at throughout your paperwork. I am moving from Portland, Maine to Tucson, Arizona. Not really, but maybe hoping to retire there someday. Um, and I'm looking to move, surprise to my husband, 12-7-2020. Um, we're gonna be loading the 7th through the 9th. See that load spread there? And then the delivery date is also a load spread. What a delivery, I mean, excuse me, a delivery spread. What a delivery spread is, is we can't guarantee exactly when it's going to arrive when it goes across state lines and interstate move. So you'll see that the driver can, Delivered on the 17th, I need to sign that I'm going to be available for these dates. Once it's on a truck loaded between the 7th and the 9th, I will know exactly what ish <laughs> um, date it will deliver. I say ish because things happen. Um, we live in a crazy world as we know. And there could be storms, it could be snow, who knows exactly what's going on. So the driver will do the best he can to give an approximate. Um, but as these dates get closer, reach out to your coordinator and myself, and I'll be able to do the best I can to be in contact with the driver. So the first thing I need to do is I need to sign here that I'm going to be available for all the dates. So I'm going to click where it says to sign, and I'm going to type my name. It's gonna make a nice signature for me here, Brittany Bauman. I'm gonna hit apply. You'll notice that there's a next button here. There are two places you can hit next. You could hit next here, which I recommend. Or you could also hit next up here. What this is showing is the countdown. So this is the countdown for we have 17 more places to sign. Then hit next. And this page right here that it brings me to is the release to transport particle board. So we all have maybe that old Ikea furniture, or maybe you don't, um, but this is something that we do need legally everyone to sign. And this is just saying that that, diff that particle board furniture doesn't always hold up well. So this is just saying it might get shuffled. It's not held to withstand stress of moving. And we just want you to know that, that we are not liable. So we're gonna click here to sign. And then we're gonna hit next one more time. That's gonna bring me down here. Here is where I'm going to write in my contact information and everything else I know. My husband's name is Dimitri Bauman. Hi, hon. So I'm gonna put him in here as well as another contact. My phone number, we're gonna pretend is this. That's not even a real number, but it's okay. We're gonna hit next. 
It's going to bring us to an alternate number. Do you have a cell phone number that you're traveling with? Don't forget, sometimes your home phones will get disconnected when you move. I'm going to hit next again or tab, and I'm going to write my origin address. For sake of this, I'm not going to write my real address, but I'm going to write our office address here. 75 Pine Tree Parkway, Portland, Maine. Is there an extra pickup? I'm not picking anything up on a storage unit, but are you? If there was extra pickups, you would put it here. Notice there's room for two extra pickups. It's okay if you leave that blank. Destination, who's going to be there? I'm going to be there. Phone number, again, this is where I put my phone number again, as well as my alternate phone number. Now, because I'm not really moving, I don't have an address in Tucson. I also don't have an extra delivery. So I will just hit next or go through that. The next thing you need to sign is certified um, certificate of brown tail moth. So what this is basically saying is that I'm not going to bring bugs across state lines. I'm going to click and sign because I will not be doing that. And then I'm going to hit next. The next thing is how am I going to pay? So I typically, if you are going to be paying a different way from this, please reach out and let me know. Um, typically, people will be paying via credit card, which is what I will be doing. Um, but occasionally, people pay with certified check or cash. We cannot accept personal checks. Hit next. I'm going to now put in my information. Got my name right next. Now, it would be really cool if I gave you my real credit card number. I'm not going to do that. The, the V number, it's a lot, those digits on the back of your card, or if you're really fancy with an Amex, the first four on the front. I'm not fancy. I'm going to hit the three. And then the billing zip code. Now, are you going to be changing your credit card or your debit card prior? I will run the card about a week before your move. If you think that a week before your move, you will have your new billing zip code on here, feel free to write both or just one. Mainly because I need that to run it. So my estimated price is $15,055.28. And I need to click here that I am going to pay it. I need to do an initial BB for Brittany Bauman. And then I hit next. Down here again, I will pay this. So I'm going to click. This next thing is just a checklist for yourself. We'd like to just you to, just to sign that you've read it. Just talks about exactly what you should do before your move. I'm going to click it. Things like empty the fuel in your lawnmower. Remove ink. Simple things. And then I'm going to hit next. This next thing again is just another checklist. It's going to say what do you do before pack day, load day, delivery. Just some helpful hints. Then I'm gonna hit next. High value, so this is very important if you were gonna be traveling um, or shipping with us, anything that is over $100 per pound. China, um, antiques, collections of any sort. You wanna list this here. Um, you'd want to not click the next one. You'd want to directly click here and write what is extraordinary and your estimated value. Do not worry about inventory number, origin, or destination because that is for us to fill out if need be. I'm going to click here only because I do not have anything of extraordinary value. If you were to have something extraordinary value, it will have you sign down here saying that we understand you're, you're bringing things of extraordinary value. However, please note that if it's stocks, your birth certificate, passports, please don't send that with us. Money, <laughs> please keep that on your person. Collectibles, talk to us about that. But I'm going to hit here and I'm going to click sign because I do not have anything of extraordinary value. We recommend that if you are moving interstate across state lines, you have option one, full value protection. So since I'm moving to Arizona, I need this $0 deductible. So I'm perfect. I'm here at the zero, so I can click next. 
This is just saying if you would like to change your deductible to $250 or $500. I'm going to hit next because I'd like to keep it at zero. I'm going to click here to sign. If you are using this to see how to do local paperwork, typically you'd be signing waiver two and that's at 60 cents per pound. That is still a great coverage. However, we just don't recommend it for long trips. Next. The last few things you're gonna sign is another fancy moving checklist. And then the second page of the checklist. I recommend reading this. This is talking about what if there's a problem? What if I need to file a claim? What do I do? Click sign, hit next. And then this is that estimate that Brandon or Tyler or someone sent to you prior. It's gonna have my information here. Origin, if you hear the word origin, that's where I'm coming from. Destinations, where I'm going to, main delivery. You'll see the extra pickups if they apply as well as your valuation coverage and your service dates. So I'm going to click to initial and click to sign, and then I'm gonna hit next. You notice I'm down to two places to sign. I'm gonna click here. This is talking about my inventory, my second page. This is how many pounds we're thinking I'm bringing 15,000 about. It's a lot, clearly I have a big house, and then, <laughs> I'm going to, again, sign the inventory. This is where we listed if there's any packing or what you're actually moving. I'm gonna hit, click to sign. Now, congratulations, we have signed it. What you don't see here, and I'll move this to the side, is our click to sign button. This is very important. This is how you send it to myself. So you're going to click, click to sign. process and it will send it to me. You can download yourself a copy now or um, what will happen is I will send you an email saying that I've received it and I'll also send you a copy of it that way. I hope you have a great day and thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to move you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. There's no silly questions. Thank you.